Hey there everybody and welcome back to more Messiah. I'm still Nicaroth and if you remember last time, well we were deep inside the body of a pimp and we were trying to make our way into Club KYD but apparently Pimp Daddy did not leave on the best terms and well we can't get in. Thankfully, Satan is going to antagonize us and say that, well, if we can't even get inside a club, how on earth are we going to be able to stop the Lord of Darkness? And that actually makes a lot of sense. I mean, clubs are very important to get into for some reason. And since we can't take a direct approach, uh, we're going to have to make an alternate route available to ourselves, which means more platforming. Now all these moving bits may make all this seem fairly difficult, but this starting area is actually pretty simple. All we have to do is press this button here and, well, we'll see what happens after we press it. Now normally uh, you'd think that you'd probably have to have the worker over there to press that switch, but no, you just have to have Bra press it and... Well, as you can tell, it's pretty easy to navigate this entire place. It kind of makes you wonder why they even have all these different moving platforms at all. Hello! And that's a little bit of flavor voice stuff from Bob. It's, uh, it's actually fairly interesting to hear. I guess him finally have some little bit of personality. I mean, there, there's probably been quite a few bits of... Uh, mishaps that have, might have occurred where he could have said something like a witty one-liner, but no, he's decided to hold off until closer to the end of the game. And we just have a little bit of, well, actually rather easy, chill platforming. It's a lot easier than the previous area, which is good. Yep. Yeah, uh, I guess you could get a bit lost if you didn't pay attention to the fact that these little... I don't even know what these are. They look like they're carrying dirt, have multiple levels. But yeah, we, need, we just needed to make our way up to the top level. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this cop because I don't want him shooting at us. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm tired of crawling. Uh, well, thankfully, you don't have to crawl that much, Bob, because, well, even though this looks like a dead end, <sighs> this thing's overheating here. It actually is not. Not to say that can't be a bit dangerous, being in these confined spaces with a machine gun wielding cop. Hey, get the hell away. But let's see what this button does. Well, that's not interesting at all. Let's press it again. for massive property damage, I guess? But, uh, yeah, now we can safely make our way across. Just leave that cop behind because there's actually no other way out of this room outside of going back through this vent up here. Also, I have to wonder why the outside of this club is such a large industrial complex, but uh, I think it'll all make sense by the end of the video. For right now though, since we have these high-powered fans here and very large gaps to make, you can kind of put two and two together and figure out we just need to use the fans to propel ourselves upwards and float ourselves across. Likewise, a uh, similar situation here, you just want to be a little bit careful of that bolt of electricity there. It, uh, it's not too hard to time though. And 
finally we need to make our way to this stationary platform here. And where we are inevitably going to want to go is through that hole in the bars up there. Thankfully there is an elevator making its way up. We just have to hop over to it. And then we'll use that elevated platform to get our way over to that hole. Have you seen that Father Prime? Pretty easy puzzle solving. And hey look, it's a friend. Let's go talk to him. What the hell? Um, that wasn't totally our fault, I guess. I mean, outside of all the other murders that we've committed, I think that was realistically not our fault. He should have been more careful. But not too difficult to dodge these. They have a pretty set pattern. And that was, uh, that was pretty harrowing. But now it's time for what I would say is an actually annoying puzzle. So in this confined room, we have a gentleman up there doing his work, and we have a button. Over here. So let's uh, check out the hand scan. Oh no, the wall is closing in on us. Whatever are we going to do? Well, if you said slowly make our way across the floor with the crippled body, uh, then you'd be correct, because that's what we have to do. It's a, it's a race against time, where every second counts. I mean, realistically, it's not that hard, it's just... It shows off very well why we don't ever want to be in a crippled body. Sadly, though, I, I still need his body to press the button again so we can call down the lift. Your, your sacrifice was not in vain, Mr. Welder. But with that elevator that we were using previously as a platform, we can now take that up into Club KYD. Hey, you bumping into me? Yeah, buddy, I'm bumping into you. I'm trying to jump into you, but this elevator is not really making it too easy. But with our human host, we can now pretty much safely get into Club KYD. We have one small hurdle to get over, though. It may not be that obvious, but for some reason, dwellers always come equipped with a weapon, so... Uh, that's a pretty easy puzzle, we just need to drop our weapon off. And what looks a lot like the thing that powered up our, our Mazer in the previous video. But with no weapon long with a weapon no longer on us, we can now safely enter into the what I can only assume to be the debaucherous club KYD. I'm sure Satan just wants to congratulate us. But he does have a very good point of what exactly uh, we're trying to do. Uh, by getting into this club, it doesn't make a lot of sense right now. But, you know, God works in mysterious ways, including making the game bug out a little bit. I had to restart here, and for some reason, it, well, there's supposed to be some pumping music here, but instead, uh, there's no music. 
Hey, baby, do you want a date? Yes, the seduction of. Uh... Ah, Jesus Christ, this game is awkward. But yeah, Club KYD has a pretty simple series of puzzles. We have to find a very special body to possess on each one of the floors, allowing us access to the next floor. In this case, the waitress is pretty much the only one who can access this door leading up to the second floor. And on the second floor, as we view some of the wonderful dancing animations, it brings to mind that, well, I wouldn't mind being in the body of a dancer myself, so let's head off into the bathroom. That's waiting for us in the bathroom, but, uh... Well, a dancer. It may be a bit hard to tell, a prostitute from a dancer or a waitress, but, uh... Yeah, it's a, it's a dancer, I guess. It's getting cold out here. But with our new dancer body, yet again, that allows us access to the next floor and. Don't touch me! Yeah, this look just looks really weird without any music going on. But the music does get fixed whenever we head up to the next floor because there is a very interesting gimmick, I'd say, for the next floor. Because we've got a very happening dance floor. And what we have here is a Jesus, is a very simple game of Simon Says. If you notice on our platform we're standing on, arrows will line up and we simply have to press that direction on the arrow keys. It's, uh, it's not too difficult. Good job! Try this one! It just makes you really think that Bob has, has some pretty great dance moves or... He's just a naturally talented guy, it's hard to say. Hey, baby, you're good. Let's see you complete this. But this seems very shoehorned in and nonsensical. Yeah, baby groove to this. Out of sight, baby, out of sight. You're doing great. Try this one. You did it, baby. You be happy. You be happy indeed. So now that we have completed the dancing mini game, we can now access the VIP room. Watch as Bob walks very seductively up to the elevator, and God just kind of face palms. But with our new VIP access, that leads us up to the final floor, where actual danger kind of awaits us. Don't worry, you'll get better. I mean, there's the normal dancers and patrons, but there's some new people. Well, not new to the game, but new to the club. And those are the commanders, which we are going to need for the next floor. <laughs> now, I think, I thought I cleanly got into this body, but He's here! apparently not. I'm, uh, I'm one of you guys. Stop hitting me. You wanna drop? Ow. But yeah, to I, I'm not actually sure how they saw me. Maybe they saw me through the curtain. I'm not really sure. But the only thing that we are going to need is that commander body. So I'm just going to let her stomp on this light cop for a while. And then whenever he gets killed, I'll just hop into her body. If you think you're going to get away with it, you... Maybe not the smoothest way to end this area, but hey, what do you know? We can now exit and everything is easy. I wonder what MZ stands for. Well, we'll be finding that out in the next video. 
as we take this elevator into a black abyss. Rather obvious change from the club environment, but we'll be finding out more about this area next time on More Messiah.